Hey, it's Steve. I have a cool new invitation for you. It's called the Bucket List Challenge. And the purpose is to help you capture some of those truly life-enhancing experiences that you may otherwise never get around to having so that you can have no regrets when you finally kick the bucket or pass away. That can include a wide variety of things. It, can, it could involve travel adventures, uh, skills you want to develop, say like learning a, a different language, creative projects, like maybe you want to write a screenplay or a novel someday. Anything from your someday maybe list that always gets put on the back burner. Uh, I tend to live very experientially. I really focused on developing my lifestyle in that way many years ago. And I have to tell you, it's wonderful. Last month, I did LSD for the first time. That was quite an experience. Uh, this month, I've been investing in learning Spanish. I've done 10 Spanish lessons in 10 days, and I really am committing myself to becoming at least conversationally fluent in it. Next month, I have a trip to Chicago, and I think the last time I was there was when I saw Star Wars Return of the Jedi in a movie theater. I think that was 1983, so it's been many, many years. Now, we all have reasons why we can't do certain things, and those reasons may often appear solid, but the truth is that if we poke them, if we challenge them, if we prod them, they will bend. They are flexible. They are subjective to begin with. They are not as real and solid as we make them out to be. And a big part of the bucket list challenge is to help you flip around what we tend to do when we let our dreams fade. The problem is when we make our obstacles and our reasons for inaction seem so real and solid, even if we have seemingly objective reasons that we can't do certain things like too little time, too little money, I've got kids to feed, that sort of thing. We then end up making our dreams become more vague, more wispy. Our dreams become more airy and cloud-like. They don't have that same solid form and substance as our objections do. Well, this bucket list challenge is an invitation to flip that around and do the, actual, do the opposite of that, which is to make your dreams much more solid, objective, and real. Those items from your someday maybe list that always stay on the back burner, we move them to the front burner and they become real. They become right in your face. And what happens when you do that is you'll see that your objections, however solid they once seemed before, now they start becoming more dreamlike, more wispy, and they move to the back burner. And they don't, they don't seem nearly as daunting as they once were. And that's, this is essentially the process by which we can make some of these real dreams happen. We always have the option to choose where we feed our energy. We can either feed our energy into our objections and our excuses, or we could feed our energy into making our uh, dreams real, into having amazing experiences and bringing them into our reality. Now, what I've done here is over quite a period of time, I've gradually codified this process into a structure that anyone can use. I can teach it. And it involves a cascading avalanche of steps through selecting what you're going to experience, advancing it, and leaning into it, and then eventually reaching the point of committing to it fully, having the experience, and integrating it into your life. In this bucket list challenge, what I will do is I'm going to walk you through this process step by step, where you'll be actually doing the process with me. So I'm going to demo it for you by picking something new that I've never done before and doing that with you. Now, you don't have to do the same thing as me. We'll all pick different things. That's fine. My wife, Rochelle, is going to do this with us too. So both of us will be picking some new things and we'll be using this process to go through these new experiences as we invite you to do the same. And you, again, you can pick totally different experiences than, than we will. This also complements the Engage course that I've been gradually developing and sharing for free on YouTube. However, this also works as a standalone uh, adventure, you could say. And I think it's gonna be an awesome group experience. We already have dozens of people signed up for it. I invite you to join us. The format will be 12 Zoom calls spread over several months, and it's gonna be separated into three rounds of four calls each. So in each round, we have four Zoom calls over a span of 15 days. Then we have a break in between, then we do another round of the same, and then a break, and then another round of the same. This is to give you practice engaging with this process multiple times, and each time I will guide you through it. Now, in the first round, it's gonna be very instructional. I'm gonna walk you through it, really baby you through it step by step. The second round, we're gonna focus more on widening the variety 
and opening up to more divergent possibilities. The third round, we're going to go for more depth and more ambitious goals, really go for something big and juicy. At least that's the invitation. The bucket list challenge officially starts on September 10, 2024 at 11, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Now, it's okay to join late. You can catch up with the recordings. The whole thing will be recorded and you'll get all the recordings too. To sign up, go to my website, go to stevepavlina.com slash bucket hyphen list, get all the details. It's a, there's a very detailed page there that gives you everything you need to know. Then sign up. I will see you in the challenge and let's make those backburner dreams of yours actually happen.